Hello and welcome to the course Building a Reddit Light Message Board with React and Firebase by Pact Publishing. I'm Richard Gill. I've got a background in writing web applications, several years' experience with JavaScript, and I was a pre early adopter of React and React Native. I use all of these technologies every day and have done for the last couple of years. Welcome to the course overview. In this course, we're going to have a look at building a Reddit like messaging board. Uh, using React and Firebase. So we're going to build a website that looks a bit like Reddit. Not all of the features, but some of the features. I'm going to show you how you might put something like that together. So in the first section, we're going to look at creating a message board application with React. We're going to look at how we scaffold a new project and get that set up. We're going to then have a look at what's in the scaffold and what stuff you can do to it, what commands you can run, what code was generated for us, and understand a little bit about what Create React App has built. Then we're going to talk about JSX, what it is, how it works. And then last but not least, we're going to build a Reddit post component. And we're going to do that using a stateless component in React. In section two, we're going to look at adding posts to our Reddit application and styling it. We're going to look at inline styling, so how to style components in JavaScript uh, without using CSS. Then we're going to look at CSS styling, so how to style React components whilst using CSS. Next, we'll look at how to write a component that takes some props. So that's like a function which takes arguments, how to write a component which takes arguments, essentially. Then we're going to look at how we can extract the Reddit post into a separate .js file. Then we'll look at creating a component to add a new post. And we're going to do that using the class syntax rather than doing a functional component like we were initially. In section three, we're going to look at tracking application state in real time with Firebase. First thing we're going to look at is how we're going to set up Firebase. So getting Firebase set up for the project, making sure it's all ready. Then we're going to look at reading data from Firebase and see some of the things it can do with real-time updates and reading data in real time. And then I'm going to show you an example of writing some data to Firebase, so updating the data that's stored in Firebase. In section four, we're going to look in a little bit more detail at how to style our application, some advanced techniques that we can use. We're going to look at CSS modules, which are a way of stopping your CSS from being globally accessible so that you kind of know if you write some bad CSS because you're lazy or whatever, you know, whatever the reason is, that it's isolated to one area. And then we're going to look at Flexbox, which is a superior layout engine for CSS that I really like. I've used in all my projects for the last year or so at least, and it really helps, especially if you're not a CSS pro. Um, it really helps get things laid out in a much more sane way. So the target audience for this course is really developers that already know some React. I think if you don't know React, then you'll need to go and make sure you know some before you start this. If you're looking to learn about React and get an introduction to Firebase, then this is the place for you. If you're looking to learn some more advanced React patterns as well, then I think this course is pretty good for you. So really it's for people that already know React, but want to learn a little bit more, dive a little deeper, you know, learn some of the more sort of advanced um, patterns and topics from someone that's been doing this day in, day out for a few years. The prerequisites for this course are really just to have Mac, Linux, or Windows, but the key thing is being able to install a version of Node. We're using Node version 8.1.2. If you have NVM, which stands for Node Version Manager, on your system, uh, you should be able to get that quite easily on Mac and possibly Linux. I think it's on Windows as well then that might be really useful because you can easily switch between versions of Node and grab the right one. So the goals for this course are to leave knowing a bit more React than you came with. That's kind of the first thing. So you already know some, hopefully, and hopefully you'll leave seeing a few things you hadn't seen before and a few little techniques and tricks that will help you, you know, get better at React. And the next thing is to understand what a Firebase real-time database is, how you can use it, and the sorts of things it can do. You won't be an expert in Firebase by the time you finish this course, but you should kind of know what it is, be able to hold like a conversation about what it is. And if you're interested, you could probably you know, press on and, and maybe build some apps with it to understand it more in the future. You should understand the best practices for styling your application. Uh, using CSS modules and uh, Flexbox. So basically there's a little bit of help there, like the, those are the kind of most important things I learned um, how, with how to get better at CSS and styling things. So let's get started with our first section, which is creating a message board application with React.